hi everyone welcome back to our channel in this video i will explain how to find mean and variance of a poisson distribution see derived mean and variance of poisson distribution see the solution first of all we have to write the definition of poisson distribution of a discrete random variable so we know that the poisson probability distribution the poisson probability distribution is of the form probability of x which takes small x values it is in the form of probabilities of x value should be in the form of e power minus lambda into lambda power x by x factorial okay for x varies from 0 1 2 and so on up to infinite number of terms okay here x takes infinite many values but in the concept of binomial distribution small x takes only a finite number of values okay that is the difference between binomial and poisson distribution take it equation number one so first of all uh, we have to derive the mean mean is also known as expectation so since x follows poisson distribution x should be discrete random variable only so in the concept of discrete random variable expectation of x is nothing but summation of x into probability of x and here x varies from 0 to infinity okay in the case of binomial distribution it is only 0 to n only but here 0 to infinity so expand this series so you will get by putting x is equal to 0 first term is 0 into p of 0 second term is 1 into p of n so next term is 2 into p of 2 and so on up to infinite number of terms okay since first term is 0 into p of 0 you can leave that term so series starts with x is equal to 1 1 to infinity x into what is p of x this poison distribution probability e power minus lambda into lambda power x by x factorial okay we are observing that here sigma rep depends upon x only that's why e power minus lambda is the constant term so take outside from the sigma so you will get e power minus lambda into sigma x is equal to 1 to infinity okay x into remaining term is lambda power x by x factorial here x factorial can be written as x into x minus 1 factorial because for example you can take 5 factorial 5 factorial can be written as 5 into 4 factorial similarly you can take 7 factorial it can be written as 7 into 6 factorial so that's why i will write x factorial as x into x minus 1 factorial now x x gets cancelled now you have to expand the sigma c so in the outside you have e power minus lambda here see before expanding the series i will multiply with lambda and divide with lambda so x is equal to 1 to infinity lambda power x by lambda into x minus 1 factorial okay so this lambda this lambda gets cancelled again you will get the previous term as usually so take this denominator lambda to numerator in the numerator already you have lambda power x since bases are equal you can add the powers so you will get e power minus lambda into summation x is equal to 1 to infinity already lambda is, lambda is there don't forget this lambda lambda power x minus 1 by x minus 1 factorial now expand the series i will write this term as lambda into e power minus lambda open a bracket by putting x is equal to 1 you will get lambda power 0 lambda power 0 is G, lambda power 0 anything power 0 is 1 
So numerator is 1. Denominator is 1 minus 1 factorial. 0 factorial. 0 factorial is also 1. So first term is 1. Put x is equal to. You will get lambda by 1 factorial. Put x is equal to. X is equal to 3 this time. Lambda power 3 minus 1. 2 square. Sorry. Lambda power 2 by 2 factorial. Plus lambda cube by 3 factorial. Plus 1. In this way you will get the terms. Okay, so clearly here we are observing that by Maclaurin series expansion, we know that what is the Maclaurin series expansion? According to the Maclaurin series, 1 plus x by 1 factorial plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial can be written as up to infinite number of terms. This expansion is nothing but e power x. That's why here you will get lambda into e power minus lambda into what is this expansion we have lambda instead of x so you will get e power lambda so what is e power minus lambda into e power lambda e power 0 it would be lambda into 1 so you should conclude that expectation of poison distribution nothing but mean of poison distribution is lambda is the very easy derivation so please practice well Poison distribution. Now we, we are going to find out the variance of this poison distribution. See. We know that variance of x is represented by capital V of x. Since capital X is the discrete random variable, the formula for variance of x is nothing but E of x square minus expectation of x whole square. What is the second part? Here E of x is nothing but mean. Just recently we got E of x is lambda for the Poisson distribution. And the formula for E of x square is summation x square into probability of x. And x varies from 0 to infinity because capital X follows the Poisson distribution. If it is binomial, if it follows binomial distribution, then x varies from 0 to n only. Please observe that difference between binomial and poison. Minus this would be lambda. Square is there. Okay. Now again if you expand this series. First term automatically becomes 0. 0 square into P of 0. 0 and anything is 0. That's why you can leave that term. You can start the series from 1 onwards. Instead of 0. There is no use if you start the series with a 0. Because first term becomes 0 x is equal to 1 to infinity x square into probability of x minus lambda square here also there is a shortcut like in the binomial distribution x is equal to 1 to infinity i will subtract the x square with x and uh, i will add 1x Okay, subtract with the x and add with x. Minus x plus x gets cancelled. Again, you will get same term x square. Already probability of x is there in the product minus lambda square. Okay, again, you can separate the terms. You can take x square minus x as single term. So, you will get sigma x is equal to 1 to infinity x square minus x into this term into p of x plus so, summation of x into p of x. Summation of x is equal to 1 to infinity. x into probability of x minus lambda square. Okay. Now we are observing that. What about this part? This is the mean. This is the mean of Poisson distribution which is lambda. That's why in the next step I am replacing this series with lambda. Here if you replace x is equal to 1 here you will get first term is 0. That's why we start the series with 2 instead of 1. So 2 to infinity and take common out the 1x from this x square minus x. So x into x minus 1 p of x. What is p of x? Poison distribution. e power minus lambda into one minute e power minus lambda into lambda power x by x factorial plus this is this part is nothing but lambda already negative lambda square is there. Okay, now 
you can take common out of the e power minus lambda from the sigma because e power minus lambda is the constant term right outside from the series you will get e power minus lambda summation of x is equal to 2 to infinity okay x into x minus 1 x into x minus 1 is there lambda power x is there I will write the x factorial as x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 factorial. Don't forget it. Okay. Suppose we have 8 factorial. Then you can write it as 8 into 7 into 6 factorial. No problem. Again you will get 8 factorial plus lambda minus lambda square. Plus lambda minus lambda square is as usual. Here x x x minus 1 x minus 1 gets cancelled here i will multiply with the lambda square and divide with the lambda square okay so directly i will write lambda power x minus 2 if you have any doubts take this lambda square to inside and you can write that bases are equal that's why you have to add the powers 2 minus 2 gets cancelled again you will get lambda power x by x minus 2 factorial plus lambda minus lambda square okay see here e power minus lambda into lambda square open your bracket and expand the series so by replacing x is equal to 2 you will get lambda power 0 by 0 factorial it would be 1 replace x is equal to 3 you will get the next term 3 minus 2 so you will get lambda power 1 by 1 factorial replace x is equal to 4 so you will get the next term it would be lambda square by 2 factorial plus 1 up to infinite number of terms plus lambda minus lambda square already we saw this one this is the Maclaurin series expansion according to the Maclaurin series expansion this would be exponential term so e power minus lambda into lambda square already we saw in the derivation of mean you will get e power lambda plus lambda minus lambda square so what is e power minus lambda into e power lambda 1 bases are equal that's why you can add the powers so simply first term is lambda square lambda square into 1 is lambda square plus lambda minus lambda square so this would be this would be cancelled you will get lambda variance of x is equal to lambda for the poisson distribution we are observing that here for the poisson distribution mean and variance are same that's why in your examination you may face the question as show that mean and variance of poison distribution is same okay in such cases also you should derive entire this solution okay in the next video i will give some examples on both poison distribution and binomial distribution thank you very much